Hey internet, or should I say fellow magpies, because if you clicked on this video, it probably means that you really like shinies like I do. So jewelry is a huge passion of mine. It's definitely genetic because I am the third of a line of jewel-loving women. My grandma, mom, and myself all have um, kind of continuous collections of jewelry that we've always worked on and my first job ever was making jewelry for a market near where I lived in Victoria so that tells you a little bit of background about you know how this video is coming to be and it's also a highly requested one on many of my fashion videos because I pretty much wear quite a lot of jewelry every day. Um, if you want to know a little bit about my taste, I do like some costume jewelry and statement jewelry but for the most part I like more delicate precious jewelry which I see as kind of an investment. I thought I would show you guys my new jewelry organization because I recently purchased a new jewelry box from Pottery Barn such a good deal for what it is a really nice leather jewelry box that would totally be a really nice gift for someone if you know someone who really likes jewelry or of course for yourself if you have a large jewelry collection that you find kind of hard to organize so like I'm very particular about which pieces I do decide to include in my jewelry collection so Let's go right over and take a look, but before that, I thought you guys might want to know what jewelry I'm actually wearing. I get a lot of questions on this ring in particular that I have here on my middle finger, and it is from David Yurman. It's a very light green stone, but it actually comes across as clear on some Instagram photos, which I think has led you guys to believe that it's an engagement ring, but it's not, because you can see it's on my middle finger, so unless I'm engaged to myself, um, it's just a statement ring. It is so and it's got a little bit of diamonds around it and I really like it. I got it for myself for my birthday basically last year. And I have the matching bracelet that has little diamonds around it. And my watch is an heirloom, so it's not made anymore. Um, my mom bought it for herself when I was born and then handed it down to me when I graduated. And it's Concord for Tiffany's. And I have a vintage necklace. This is from Portobello Road in London. And I have some Barbara Bixby um, calla lily earrings, which have a little bit of turquoise right here in the center. Um, I got these on eBay recently. There's quite a lot of Barbara Bixby be on eBay and she has some really beautiful designs and the detail on on them is really really nice. Let's go take a little look at the treasure trove behind me. So over here is where all of my jewelry lives. This little cat ring holder is something I've had since I was really really little. It was a gift from someone in my family. I honestly am not too sure who but it is silver but highly highly tarnished and won't really clean up but I still love it because I'm such a cat lady. Um, so this is where I keep all of my statement rings and rings that I don't wear that often. So we have a little lock Tiffany ring here, little ruby heart, really pretty statement ring here. What else we have? This one, which is very rhinestone-y. This is from eBay. Uh, my mom and I like to bid on jewelry on eBay sometimes. And then this was my grandma's, so it's garnet and pearl, and it's really pretty and dainty. I really like this ring, but I don't wear it that often because I don't want to damage um, the setting, which is very, very delicate. Having little dishes like this to put down your jewelry before you shower or you know at the end of the day before getting into your pajamas after work is such a lifesaver. So at the end of the day you know this is where I'll kind of plonk down my everyday rings like this. Um, this um, leather case is actually part of the Pottery Barn one that I got. It's supposed to fit on the inside but I keep it on the outside as a kind of tray and I will leave this open and kind of plonk down my necklaces and watch. At the end of the day and that way when I get dressed in the morning it's also really easy to find what I'm currently using. So this used to be my mom's but she um, found that it was getting too small so she gave it to me and I had it sized to fit my finger. Um, this um, holding hands ring was my mom's when she was really young. I bought this for myself when I started my latest job. It's not an expensive ring, it's from a local jeweler and it's just a little tiny garnet. I really like delicate rings like that right now as well and then these are my grandparents um wedding rings from either side of my family so one of them is rose gold and the other one is regular gold and miraculously they're both the same size and fit my middle finger so i'll often layer those up and they're so special because they have the inscription on the inside with the wedding dates so that's one 
um, kind of very, very special heirloom that I like to wear on a daily basis as well. This bracelet is so beautiful. It's vintage. It's got enamel all over it and um, tiger's eye. And I really like it. It totally makes an outfit. And then here I have my grandfather's watch chain, which I sometimes wear as a bracelet. And this little bowl with the heart cut out is from Lalik, and it was a gift from my godfather many years ago. And it really works well as a little jewelry dish for bigger pieces that don't fit in the leather case or in my little kitty cat ring holder either. Let's take a look at my new beautiful Pottery Barn jewelry case. This is the medium size of the case so you can actually get this separately or there's an even bigger size but because as you can see I already have a jewelry armoire I felt, felt like the medium size was really good just to store all of my precious gold and silver and pearl jewelry. So that's what's in here and I'm going to go through and show you everything. Um, so you know I hope you guys have a couple of coffee or something because this isn't going to take a while. Um, I really like that this has this beautiful little key by the way. I feel like it's so well made for the price um, and the leather in real life is a true Tiffany blue. The middle section here where this box would normally fit um, if you wanted it to be there not separate. I have all Tiffany necklaces. So I have this gold chain from Tiffany's. I have a silver chain here. It's a little bit more of a statement. This is actually from the Elsa Peretti line at Tiffany's. It's a big starfish. I'm not sure whether they actually have this anymore. I think they discontinued most of the starfish line. One of my most worn office pieces is this ball and um, chain necklace from Tiffany's, which is really a nice kind of modern interpretation of the classic pearls. And I have the whole set from this, so I've got the earrings and bracelet as well. And over here in the right hand section, you can't see very well in here, but I just have different sizes of chains in yellow gold, silver. I really like this little bar um, necklace from Tiffany's also. It's a really great versatile chain. And I also have a rose gold one and I have some more gold ones over here. So I have a little charm from Cartier so you can see it's got diamonds and it's their classic CC. A lot of people think this is actually Chanel but it's not because Cartier's um, logo is also a double C but the font on it is a little bit different. Then um, from, I think this is from Effie and I really like the multi-tone pearls on this because it has a pink, a red and a white one with a little bit of rhinestones as well. On YouTube, Tiffany keys were all the rage, so for my birthday I asked for this. It's got little um, diamond rhinestone right here, and it's just one of their smaller um, sterling silver pieces, and it looks really nice on the silver chain I just showed you. From Tiffany's as well, but this is really going back a few years now to when I was in law school. I have this little lobster. I used to wear this every day for so, so long, and I still really think it's just so darling. I love the little lobster face. Then I have a little candy charm. I think this was my mom's when she was young. It's really cute and dainty and very easily wearable. And then, oh, this is kind of a more statement piece. I think I got this around the time that I passed my bar exam. You can see it's inlaid with little diamonds and it's actually rose gold. So that's what the rose gold chain came with. And it's a set, I'll show you the earrings in a moment. And then the last little charm I have is a black pearl from when I visited Tahiti a couple of years ago. And I do have some matching earrings, but the earrings were actually purchased on eBay. And through some miracle of really being careful about the color of the black pearl, they actually match really well. So it's kind of odd because this um, pearl pendant was pretty pricey, but the earrings were not. And yet they go together really well. Here I have the first half of my stud earrings. So I just told you how much I like the Elsa Peretti Starfish line from Tiffany. So I got these little yellow gold and diamond ones, which I really like and I think they look really really cute with the lobster Because then you have a whole like little nautical theme going on and it's still really subtle Subtle enough to wear to the office or something like that, but very sort of girly and quirky, which I like so these little um, silver starfish ones were actually quite affordable from Tiffany's and they go with the big starfish necklace and I actually wear them a lot separately as well. Little sapphires or something I bought for myself at the end of my Hong Kong internship. So then they have little diamonds going around and this really pretty blue sapphire as well. My mother's garnet and pearl studs the little um, ball studs from Tiffany's and I think this is the larger size although I'm not 100% sure and they are really great they do get uncomfortable after wearing them for kind of hours and hours so that would be the only sort of downside 
of this set is that these are they're not hollow so they're quite heavy but I still really like them and wear them quite a lot the first pair I'll show you are these little silver ones which are really pretty this is just from a local boutique I think a few years ago and I like the oval drop shape of the hoops because I find that really quite easy to wear as opposed to bigger hoops which are kind of a bit more of a fashion statement little calla lilies which are like a smaller version of the ones I showed you that I'm wearing today so these are really pretty I think they're from the bay and they have gold and uh, silver and then this really pretty teardrop pearl as well then finally I have the pearl earrings that I mentioned to you guys so these are the ones the black pearls that go with the black pearl pendant and they have that green hue to them they're like green hued black pearls I really like these I think they were such a good deal the only reason that I think they were cheaper is because they have a little flaw on the back but you can't see that when you're wearing them so it really doesn't matter and I'm just so happy that I have this whole set and I wear this a lot over here this is the rest of the diamond set with the rose gold that I showed you guys earlier so you can see there are these really tiny hoops that just kind of hug your ears I think the setting is actually called a huggy setting for pierced ears and it's inlaid with little diamonds and that whole set is from Effie which actually make really well priced jewelry much cheaper than Tiffany's and they have a lot of sales so don't pay full price for it if you want I will link it down below and then you can see their full website and kind of wait for them to have some sales because that's what we did and then these are yellow gold hoops inlaid with diamonds as well. These are so wearable because they're a very small hoop. In the front here, these are vintage Tiffany knots. Um, definitely a kind of more vintage look to them. Um, even the gold itself, like the tone of it is more yellow, um, like yellow gold used to be made. And these pretty much are super easy to wear for the office. They're really great with a very conservative suit. They kind of complete that look. And then these are from the Bahamas. If you want to see more uh, sort of images of me wearing this Tiffany jewelry, I'll make sure to link down below the full Tiffany's lookbook that I did a few years ago. My Tiffany's collection hasn't changed that much since that video, and you can really see me wearing all of that jewelry. It's quite a fun video that took me a long time to make, so if you guys want to go check it out, I will link it down below. I am younger and still living at home in that video because it's before I started my articling. This is the bottom layer of the box. It is a little bit annoying that it's not kind of split up into any kind of organizers but the fact of that makes it easier to fit in large pieces like for example um, this set of bracelets wouldn't fit on the top layer so I put it in the bottom and everything else around it is pretty much all pearls so over here this was my first gift that I got from my boyfriend Chris he went on a trip to Asia and brought these back for me they're really chunky sort of gumball sized pearls you can see like each pearl is the size of my nail practically and a good comparison as well because these weren't very expensive they're the kind of pearls that you can just kind of get at markets in Asia but they're really beautiful and he chose them really well because the luster on them is really good and here for comparison because that's really the easiest way with pearls to kind of tell um, these pearls were my grandmother's and they are from Mikimoto so you can see the luster and size um, equality between each pearl is really amazing um, these are such a great piece for me to have inherited I'm so lucky to have them um, and you can see they are a lot smaller than the ones that Chris got me. They're a lot more sort of dainty and formal, whereas these are more of a statement um, kind of piece that look really great with a simple outfit. So and here I have some different types of pearls. These are from my godfather. They're, I think these are called sand dollar pearls. They're very sort of almost bohemian looking the way they kind of sit on your skin. Um, they're a little bit more matte as well and they have this kind of dollar shape that lies flat really nicely. I have these ones that have little gold balls in between them and they're actually square. And I remember when I was gifted these I had never seen square pearls before. I feel like they're really unusual looking. There are some freshwater pearls that I was given when I was born because I don't know in Italy or something like that gifting jewelry to babies and can you see a baby wearing this? No, but now that I'm older I really like them So they're kind of the twisty ones that you twist and then put on and the clasp on it is unfortunately gold plated So it's lost some of its gold but the pearls and the luster on the freshwater pearls is really nice And I've been told by my aunt I think who bought these for me that when she bought them freshwater pearls were pretty much dirty 
dirt cheap um, because no one wanted them since they're not saltwater round pearls and now these have gone up in value drastically. And both my mom and I really like mixed metals. This was hers when she was working so it's got white gold, yellow gold and rose gold and it's from Cartier and it's kind of a fun look back to see this because Right now, Cartier is doing a lot of modern designs, like their love line with the little screws on it. And this is more what Cartier was like in the 80s and 90s. Very, very classic, simple designs, um, which I actually prefer. So I really like this bangle. It is a little bit big, so I don't wear it that often because I'm so scared of losing it. But it makes a lovely, sort of slightly changely noise as well when you wear it. These earrings, which I added to my collection recently, so these are from Thailand. They are pink saucy pearls with white topaz stones. There we go, I think I got it to focus. It has these little tree branches kind of going down around the pearl and I really like um, the detail of that. And then over here in the middle I have some Tiffany's bangles. So I have a sterling silver one and a gold one. Um, and I like these, they're just quite heavy to wear. Um, every day as well. That's the only thing I would say about them. Then this is actually costume jewelry, one of the only pieces of costume jewelry in this box. Um, and it's got Swarovski crystals on it, but it's not gold. I think it was my grandmother's because she really liked costume jewelry. And I love the Art Deco look of this, so I like to layer it with other bracelets. And I think it really kind of will make a stack. And here you have a dainty little chain. This is a recent purchase. This is from Majori and they have a little turquoise in the middle. It's very dainty and chain like. The only thing is it is so difficult to put on by myself. So I always have to get help um, from someone to put it on. Over here I actually have a whole jewelry armoire but I usually use it most for accessories. So right now it's mostly sunglasses and travel documents and little wallets and things like that that live in here with only really one layer at the top of of um, jewelry in this drawer and I am actually gonna lay all that out for you to see at the end of this video it's mostly costume jewelry this necklace from Zara was really highly worn by me for the holiday season last year I wore it to a lot of parties I really thought it was a great piece it's still beautiful this is actually a vintage piece it's from YSL and I like the detail on this one because you can see even the back of the necklace is beautiful and you can actually reverse it and wear it on this side and the front is a really pretty light yellow this is actually from eBay, just some little freshwater pearls with some semi-precious um, little beads going on here. I really like that. I have a lot of this color in my wardrobe, so it's a good one to have for me. Back here is the so often sort of seen in blog posts of people um, House of Harlow necklace that I just felt compelled to get because I really like the geometric look of it. I feel like it's quite overpriced for what it is because this is just enamel and I feel like this is supposed to be gold plated but I've only had it about a year and a half and you can see a lot of the gold is coming out and the chain is slightly bent so I feel like the quality on it is slightly disappointing, especially for the price. And then over here, this is from Ralph Lauren. These are large turquoises, but I don't think they're actually real. I think they're composite turquoise. So it's made from pieces of turquoise that have been kind of um, glued together, but the overall look of it is really nice and very opulent. Thank you so much for watching. And 